back, back in, in time. Hey guys, Reptile Keptile here, and today I have a little video um, about some information about calcium for reptiles. You know, I get a lot of comments and uh, questions, and they're they're asking why is my leopard gecko or any reptile out there, usually lizards and geckos, are the ones that have this. Uh, about them just laying around and being tired and sleepy. Now they could they could just be old or they have a different disease, but. In most cases, cases it is melabotic bone disease, and melabotic bone disease is usually found from not getting enough calcium. And it's sad, but a lot of people are unaware that the reptiles need calcium with vitamin D3, and some people do not even give their reptiles any calcium. Now, I'm going to show you the proper calcium that you're going to need to keep your reptile healthy. As you can see here, we have. Uh, three calcium bottles. Um, these two right here are the same, uh, just a different brand. This is calcium with D3. Let me just uh, get a close up so you can see that it says calcium with D3. This is for their bones um, to keep them healthy. This is what you want to coat most of their food or insects or whatever you're going to be feeding them. You're going to want to coat this all their uh, insects with D3. This is what's going to be good for their bones and this is a must when you have reptiles. Um, not not really for snakes but for geckos and lizards and whatnot. And this is a multivitamin. This is another one made by Repcal. This is another Repcal. Both these two, the blue and the pink bottles, are made by Repcal. And they're one of my favorites. They make pretty good calcium. Uh, I think they're the top on the market. It's a bit expensive, but if you have a good uh, expensive reptile, you're going to want to keep that, that one healthy. Now, they give you a lot in here. as a pretty big bottle. But this is a multivitamin. This is not a must, but it, it's going to keep your reptile healthy. And if you want them to live a little bit healthier and a little bit longer, you want to give them that. And with this, you don't coat the food so much as you just... For leopard geckos, you can leave it in a little cup in the corner, and they can lick that up when they want to. Um, if they ever get hungry enough, or if they're just kind of feeling like they want a little calcium, then they'll they'll go get it when they need it. But it's good to just leave that in there as an option for them. Well, you can put a little bit of mealworms in there, and it, that should kind of coat them, coat the mealworms, and they'll eat that. But as for calcium for bones, you're going to want to get D3. This is a must. You need this for a, say, a leopard gecko. You know, he's going to need that. And I'll give you a video on how to uh, coat your insects. I'll be using mealworms or waxworms um, in the video. I'll have a little annotation somewhere right here. I'll have a little annotation right there. And you can click on that and you can watch how to coat your reptiles with that calcium if you don't know how if you already do then you probably already are giving them calcium but it's really simple and it's going to keep your reptile nice and healthy now if you have any more questions about uh, anything about your reptile uh, leave in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them you know i don't know all the questions to reptiles and there's a lot that we don't know yet about them it's for the really cool species though you know but if you have any questions leave comments below and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, guys. See you.